at the Leica event at Comic-Con. It's the 10th anniversary of Coraline. Hey, Hi, I'm good? Terry. Charles, nice, nice to, to meet, meet you. you. Charles, thank you for joining me in my thank van. Thank you for chatting with me. So, when I was involved in making Coraline, I can't think of a better example of artists putting in so much work for such a long time before there's a final product. And when I think about this movie, I think about it being like a perfect example for the art of delayed gratification, oh, yeah. which I oh, think yeah. is a lost art. I mean, I think Absolutely. we have children and society that's like the instant society. If I can't have it now, it's not worth it. And it makes me want to ask you, what's the longest you ever had to work at something before you were good at it or before you got it to be the way you wanted? Or what? what's a... What's an artistic sort of struggle Ooh. story for you? Because I um, think people would find that inspiring. I, I think everything. I think, like, I don't I don't think that, at least for me personally, I've never gotten to a place. You, you get to, like, there's, like, a, it's the highway. Like, you pull off the highway for a little bit, and you, you take a rest, and you sort of look around and go, like, wow, okay, I traveled really far. But you never get to the destination. Wow. And that's hard because you're always traveling and at some point you're like so when am I gonna stop traveling when am I gonna get to that place and it's been hard for me but I, I sort of lately especially I've been realizing you just you got to travel you got to like just roll with it so I, yeah I don't think you get to that place I think like you know I mean obviously if it's a single thing that you're doing like a production or something mm -hmm. like you complete your production and then you always look back and go oh man if I just had like an extra day an extra hour an I'm... extra and it and it like there's always a little piece that kind of kills me a little bit yeah but you know I under I understand that I, I mean that's a true artist I guess yeah. right I mean yeah. I when I did a um, cabaret on stage and I toured with it for like seven months oh, and I man. remember thinking every night even the nights we would get standing ovations or I remember thinking Oh, I could have done that a little different or you know like when I would attack it again the next night it was like sort of it never was like oh I got this play down yeah. oh I know what it's, I'm doing never, it was still like enough. let me see if I can figure this out and I mean that's kind of the fun of it yeah oh yeah feeling yeah. like you never quite get the puzzle and there's always a way that it, it can if you saw that you put it down and move on to something else or you wouldn't be interested puzzle. in it yeah anymore. yeah so you that's keep right moving forward but yeah it's, it's if you want to get better at something you have to do it right like, it's all about just doing like I, I know that for myself sometimes if I want to do something creative the voices inside say like well you're not good enough you maybe you shouldn't do that all these other people are doing this and it's really good maybe you're and at some point you have to push all that aside and just do it right and so I guess that would I be totally like, have that that would be the thing of just like okay just do it and once again that's that's the thing that I just sort of learned you know in the last few years as I my journey as an artist to be like don't listen to those voices don't listen to the things right. telling you that you can't do it just do something do anything yeah because that journey starts with that first step. Right. If you never take that step, you ain't never going anywhere. So I was thinking of putting it in terms of like writing a script, which oh, yeah. is outside of my wheelhouse. Mm -hmm. A little like I've done writing and mm -hmm. I do some writing that I think is pretty valid, but in general when I go to write something, I have a lot of a voice going, What a dumb idea. Other people are better writers who yeah. would want to listen to you. And then I try to counterbalance it with it. Even if I just write the worst script ever written on the planet, at least I will have written a script. Absolutely. And I think that's kind of what you're saying. Like, just do it and start there. And then you can get better. You know, yeah, you have you can to always, start. It can always improve. And you can go back. 15 years later and fix things and make things and change things. Nothing is static. Everything is active and you can do and create and like just make things better. But if you don't do that thing to begin with, you never get to do you that. You got nothing. You got nothing to do. Yeah. Well, so. I love that. That's perfect advice to share. Thank cool. you so much. Yeah. Thank you for joining me.